Howdy y'all, welcome on back to the channel. We're starting it off here at the Casa. Doing a little just arrow flinging. Before we head out to the water, what a beautiful, glorious outdoor day we have, y'all. I'm talking about first cold front. First strong cold front coming into Texas here for uh, for the early fall. It's gonna be deer season here in a couple weeks. Gotta stay sharp on that. It's currently elk season. Been getting picks from my buddies out in the woods getting the elk but when those cold fronts start hitting that my, my, my entire outdoor tingle juices start flowing just hit old bucky here one time with it just, you know a couple little oh that's tight 25 yard poppers just keeping her sharp and i'm gonna head out to the lake it's breezy today but our highs are in the 80s lows are gonna get into the 50s the next couple days y'all and i am excited see what we're dealing with here just you know those are easy easy shots but been practicing angles you know quarter and away quarter and two just shifting around and I feel like I've made enough mistakes throughout the last like five years of bow hunting that I'm starting to be okay like I'm starting to get some confidence in it so of course that'll probably all change first little four point I see walking out when I'm sitting in a tree, I'm, I'm probably gonna freak out, get the shakes. That's why I love to do it in the first place. But what I wanna do today is just take the boat out on the water and first of all, just get it wet because it's disgusting right now. Do a little cleanup and then uh, just tackle organization. Just kind of get the line stretched a little bit because I do have a tournament this weekend. I'm leaving tomorrow for it to start official practice and all that. I don't know what they're going to be doing in this tournament, but I'm just hoping with this cold front, it's going to be top water city, baby. Just having a good time, catching some fish on top. And as far as today goes, 20 mile an hour winds, I think it's spinners, cranks, stuff like that. Mainly, we just need to get that silver bullet wet and get it ready for the derb. So let's hop in the boat and let's get on the water. I had to do me a quick stop at the Bucky's put nitro fuel in here ethanol free four dollars a gallon for the derb for good luck keeping that merc running hot and I always get my def here if you guys aren't familiar bucky's big gas station here in texas they have def pumps for your def no more filling up with jugs and i just talked to my derb partners they just dropped their boat off at the lake and uh, they said that it is still like really hot down there. It's like 100 degrees. So the cold front hasn't hit uh, out in East, East Texas yet, but it's coming. She's purring and the wind is just absolutely ripping. My impeller had uh, so much crap in it from the last time I fished. I literally had to just let that flush out for a minute or two, so. Now it's good. Let's take a little joy ride in the waves and then we'll get settled in, get a few lures tied on, see what needs to be restrung and all that good stuff and catch a bass or two. Hold on to your butts. This is gonna be a little gnarly. That actually wasn't even that bad because the wind has completely shifted from when I left the house. You got 80 degree water temps. You know, that's gonna drop into the 70s over the course of the next few days with these nights being in the 50s. Oh my. And just bait, bait on top of bait. Look at the side scan unit. Look at them all out there, my gosh. Well, that ain't good. Get my red light again. I had no idea this thing even took batteries. What well, dad got? Okay, I'm on the Garmin website. It says flash is red when I push the button. That means the foot pedal is not connected to the trolling motor. 
update i'm going to try updating it and this friends is exactly why i wanted to come out of here and float the boat because stuff like that can happen you know this could have taken me i don't even know if it's gonna work but could have taken me you know out of the first day of the, the practice uh, i'm hoping this update works to be honest with you that that garmin trolling motor i love the the power of it i love how quiet it is but it's it's giving me some troubles so this next boat i'm i'm getting a Minn Kota. keeping the garmin electronics because i do like those everything's going to be the same pretty much i'm going to have a 15 inch instead of the 12 right there i think it's a 12 and then just have the same size up front and another thing that i'm going to do different on the next boat is i'm going to have a separate uh, transducer for live scoping for more like staying still spot locked um, live scoping instead of just using the foot pedal or sometimes when I'm crappie fishing and even bass fishing where I just I want that so I'm gonna have to figure out a setup shut everything off updated so we're back in the game there's a lot of shad a lot of shad moving can I get an amen? A lot of shad in this shallow water. You can see a couple birds working the shoreline as well as the aerial divers. And there's some brush. Some of these little areas that ought to hold a bass. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that was a large mouth right there. Just absolutely drilling that shad. If I could get this thing undone. Oh, come here, Margaret. He probably got his fill on that one. That was a good size gizzard shad. I'm just gonna hold down here not sure if the camera picked that one up or not but it was oh just had one bumpy right there just blew up on it oh daggum son didn't get the greatest the greatest pop on it but god i think that was a different fish Oh, 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 God, just bowled on it again. Holy cow, that's a good one too, man. And it's not a low light hour, you know. We're 1.30 right now. So that just tells me these fish are, uh, this fish pretty fired up. This little pressure change. Now I've got a crosswind and I've got, um, you know, a bunch of trebles on this thing. That's our hound topwater walking bait. So what I can also do is pick up a frog. The frog's gonna be weedless. There's like a couple little, oh gosh, he freaking hit it. God, he blew up on it. Y'all, they're just, they're shy on it. They're just shy on it. That's three blow ups. I'll take this dart, six inch. Got a little tungsten putty on there. I'll whip that through there. See if, see if they react to it. minnow style bait will get it done though. There he is. Got it. That's a little one. That's not the same one. But it's what's living. You are living in there. Just twitching that thing through there. 
actually gonna take that that putty off. I haven't even showed you guys this putty yet. It's pretty cool. Feeding mode. It's middle middle of the day to eat. Oh my gosh! Big bass just blew up right there. Holy cow! Saucy. That ought to do her. Oh gosh, she's got hammered. Hammered right there. Short striking it. Alright. Gonna get a little crazy here. Let's see if I can just bring one up. This is a gar. Oh my gosh. Look at that. Oh, he got it. Oh, he done got it. He gonna take off with that one now. That's a big boy. That is a big boy. Oh, he running. He running out to the deeps. Might have ourselves a world record. I might have just lost me a contender. Chase him out here. This gar is about five feet long. Oh, he's still got it. Oh, he's still got it. He's very large. He ought to be letting it go about right now, but he's, he's just hanging on. He really wants it. Oh my gosh, we got a shark. I've got a shark. I might need to let this go because I, I don't really know how I'm supposed to land you, do anything with you, really. I just thought it'd be fun to watch you eat it. Oh, got a little pressure on him. Let's see what we got here. He's so big. Scared to put pressure because he's probably got the line in his mouth. He's gonna break it. He's going to the shallows to eat it. Oh, oh, he's got it down his. He's got it. Like it's it's actually down there. Oh my gosh! Look at him. He's like a dolphin. We done got a cigar, man. Oh my. Oh, he's so big. He's just side hooked. Come here, bud. I just want to take a look at you. Folks at home want to see you. He's going into the sh like dirt. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> hey. Prefer to get my lure back if you don't mind. Oh, there you go. I think the line is in his mouth and it is yeah look at that oh dear goodness lines in his mouth and the swim baits on the other side I got a decent sized net on board it's just like just wait just wait what an interesting little vlog this has become. Here he comes. Oh, no, we're going under the boat. Got you here in open water. Chasing you down. Oh my gosh, this thing's way bigger than I was expecting. Just an absolute mondo. Oh, we broke it finally. I am surprised the line lasted that long. fun experiment oh my well it's just a it's a popping mc mcschool over here trolled into the next pocket and then uh white bass are having their way 
with some little shad critters. Oh my. Chasing me, go. Oh, we got on. All up in here. That ought to get the bass going as well. Shoo! Shad fest. Oh no. About hooked me. Hundreds of them in here. They're popping me again. Popping me. Oh, hey, you're so fun. Look at look at the look at the tenacity. Love to see it. The midday tenacity. Really hate to see what these things are going to do when it starts really cooling off. Look at that. Why bam? Why by him? Oh, he got it. Chasing some little shad here. Ooh. All right, third species of the day. But there's brushy tops back in here. And you know what we just saw around the corner was bass blowing up in the brushy tops. So. I got a feeling if we get this over the right bit of brush, it's going to be a goner. I'm just going to go ahead and do it. Get that frog on them. Get up in that buck nasty. Lee just had a large mouth sucking under right there. I watched him. Not even a splash. It's like he just got the tail. Oh my gosh. Holy cow. That bass just caught me off guard. I was about to reel in my bait. <sighs> about to reel in my bait and he just exploded on it. They're definitely preferring the toppies. My gosh, it's just four, four I've missed on top though. So much brush in here, there has to be a bass. Lot of bass. Haven't caught one of you out here in a while. Can't resist. Good spotted bass can't resist a little finesse jig. tree buddy eating that jig you're a good boy I like you you got that fall spirit good one just got that jig pinned on you nice bass let him go beautiful Love to see that on that little juicy jig. It's at 5 16 just perfect little light flipping setup. 
light flipping, dragging around docks. It's usually in my, my junk fishing arsenal. I did not intend to get in the zone here out of the lake. I was just kind of wanting to get some gear figured out and see what the fish are doing, just get an idea. But man, it seems like, you know, they they put those little timetables and and stuff on, online or on apps and, you know, they used to be in magazines, you can just look it up, like the best times to fish. And right now we're, we're coming off this full moon. I, I don't know if that has anything to do with it, uh, but usually the fishing is more tough during the full moon. Um, they'll feed it that, that night and they'll feed it in on, on the shad early and, and late and kind of be lazy during the day. But uh, we're coming off that full moon and the pressure is is just uh, is changing a lot so uh, I can just tell I fish this lake so much and it just seems like these fish are are biting like I need to be in a good spot where there's some big ones um, just getting midday topwater bites you know one two three o'clock in the afternoon uh, it's it's pretty exciting I'm excited for the fall of topwater Gee, baby Pop in, check on my baby boy right before dinner time. And it's gonna be time to rig up all of our tackle for the tournament. Well, how we doing in here? Uh, doing pretty good, you know. Got the family dinner on the table and uh, taking care of two kids. Quinoa. I feel accomplished today. It's like I did something with my life. What'd you do? I took care of two kids <laughs> today. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I can just I <laughs> survive the day. I feel like we're good. <laughs> Luckily, we've uh, got some neighbors and, and friends that are dropping off food every night. Yeah, we got some soup, black bean soup. I made some cornbread, and um, this is like a quinoa salad. Heck yeah. Mm -hmm. My last healthy meal before I go to a tournament and eat beef and drink whiskey the whole time. I did get you some death water, so. though. Did you, you did? Yeah, I thought oh about it. Oh my you. gosh, that was on my list. I have a new appreciation for moms of more than one. Because both bringing her to school and picking her up, I was like five minutes late, which I'm never late. I'm always at least like ten minutes early. You were that mom. I was that mom. She, was, she wait, was she waiting there, lip quivering, like, where's my mommy? She wasn't the last one. She was second to last. So we'll try harder on Thursday. There was another mom. There was another mom. <laughs> <laughs> they probably had three. <laughs> it's, a, it's a whole new ball game, folks. Um, and our little boy over here, you know, just quiet as a mouse. Well, maybe he'll sleep tonight. You doing good, buddy? You little camo blanket? You gonna climb? <laughs> What'd you learn at school today? Um, I got a B. You learned the letter B? Right. Banana! Banana, and beans, and bears. And baby Ben. And baby Ben. Why, Daddy? That's right. Yeah. Get for that. Do I get a treat for that? Cool. I get one for that. Mm -hmm. I get a treat for that too. Oh, mm -hmm. We're both getting treats. Save one for me. You and me get treats. I know. You love sugar just like your daddy. It's a problem. I could I guess yet to get out of my favorite colors. And your favorite colors? What's your favorite color today? Pink. Pink. Mm -hmm. It's pink today. Gotcha. Nice work here. Painting the castle. Oh, yeah. Looking good. She worked hard on that. Actually. And you'll paint there, and you'll paint there, and you'll paint here. I love you, Daddy. Oh, I love you too. We got some sorting to do. Wormies, jigglies, and wigglies. See what all we need to take. But judging on what I experienced today, top water, man. We're going to bring some frogs, uh, big shad stuff gonna be probably a good uh, shad explosions happening i'm gonna sign off right here guys thanks as always for hanging with me on today's vlog and uh next thing we got is the dirt so i'm off to the rodeo thank you guys for tuning in 
May God bless you and Godspeed in the great outdoors. See you.